All right, welcome to Charge Cars. Today we'll be installing a learner's auxiliary pedal for the co-driver to this Hyundai i30 wagon. So the pedal is, an, is, for example, if you want to teach someone to drive here in Finland, you have to uh, install a pedal that is cable operated from the co-pilot and it attaches to the driver pedal and today we'll show you how to install that kind of system in this car. So it's perhaps a bit vehicle specific but you can take the general kind of ideas and where we attach things to work with your car. But anyway, let's get to the video. So this is what the finished product looks like. Looks like it's the end of the day and lights little so apologies for the darkness of the video or the so the cable uh, the pedal is here and the cable goes from here with a zip tie to there and attaches to the driver pedal with that kind of thingamajig so and it's then attached to a tubular uh, square tube, tubular iron there that's attached to the bulkhead where the brake booster is attached. We used the, the studs of the brake booster that look like this. Well, you'll see it later in the video to attach the pieces there. And I'll show you what you will need to do this installation. So the, the bulkhead where the brake booster is attached, it's directly back here, about in the same height. So it's a very tricky place. Uh, sorry if I'm not able to show decent foot footage there, but we'll see what we can do. The bulkhead is there, past the steering column. No. Oh. Screen. There. You can see it. There. That shape. There. So these, this stud, and that stud are the ones we're going to take out. The nuts and screw the iron piece on so we can uh, extend the attachment point of the helper cable to the brake to about here. For this thing you'll, we, you will need a few tools. Step drill that goes at least to 14 or 16 mil. And then 16 mil drill, drill bit, some kind of uh, piece with a mm, uh, the, the what do you call these? The, the threads. threads, yes. Threads in other than a basic nut because there's so little space. Uh, these are supposed to go behind here. Mm, there's so little space that you can't get the tool in behind there, so the basic nut will not do. And then you will need a uh, 3 mil metal drill bit to drill the where the cable is supposed to be, and perhaps a, gu a guide hole if you want to, to the strap drill. Then a 13 mil uh, socket, a shallow socket, deep socket won't do. Because there's the, the the you won't be able to put force in the in the nut and the uh, bolt I mean, and then a 13 mil key wrench, 13 mil wrench, and then uh, these are for the for tightening the 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 the, the 
metal pieces that clamp into the driver seat, uh, driver pedal, brake pedal, and then also this is for the nuts that you are going to put, attach this to angle iron pieces that will show you to put in the, the studs in the bulkhead where the brake booster is attached. And then, so you will need a, this is a scrap list left over for, from the, the video, but you will need a 40 by 20 mil, these kind of rectangular tubes of, of iron or steel, and you will need 20 to 30 centimeter pieces of it. And then you will need an angle grinder, power tool to drill with the, the drills. Then you will need also a smaller, like 11 mil or even smaller bolts to put inside here because a 12 mil bolt the, the, the key, uh, the, the socket won't fit between the tube so that it needs to be smaller. And then you will need 14 mil socket and a half inch, the, the half inch wrench so that you can uh, remove the driver's seat and put it backwards so you have more place to work. And then you will need a 17 mil to tighten the pedal from the co-driver side. Now let's get cracking. a bit off these because we made a test drill but the the, the bolts in the bulkhead of the car are um, 12 mil and the socket doesn't go through so we had to improvise so we kind of made a angle grind at the other side of the tube out so we are left with these two pieces uh, which go like this, and they have to be kind of off-center the, the holes in the foreground and background, because otherwise you won't fit the socket. Now you can fit the socket right past very nicely, and you can uh, tighten the nuts in the bulkhead where we are planning to connect this, and then we'll just overlap this, that way we don't lose strength. The angled pieces are there. And the nuts are accessible. Oh, wait a second. There. As you can see, the iron pieces are together, but we decided to uh, the round, shiny thing that you can see in the background there is the nut keeping the brake booster on the bulkhead. We decided to keep them on place because it will give us a spacer and we don't have uh, and uh, it has it, it will be less of a hassle to take it off and put the angle pieces there so we decided to just leave it in place and we'll just put new 13 mil nuts there on both the studs all right bolted in And it fits pretty good snugly here. This will give flex a bit, so the other piece will be laid on flat on top.
I don't have a punch so I'm using a drill bit to punch the starting holes for the drilling locations and this piece is a is a piece from the uh, what was it the 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 the, the, the kit I, I used to attach the bucket seat on the BMW E46 uh, seat rails you have maybe seen the video maybe not no. This was a, a bracket for a, a window switch for if you have the electric seat so you can uh, adjust it forward or backward but I don't need it so I used this as a backing plate to join these two pieces inside the car so I can drop down the, the iron so that we can attach the cable to help the brake pedal. All right, and actually one more. Like that. Premium drill bit for this one. Just... Right. We'll make it bigger if we need to. Maybe four mil or something else. But that just to keep the wire uh, cable wire in place cable so we can do it all right now with this kind of step drill from uh four six eight ten so even numbers it steps between uh, every two mil up we'll need to use until the 10 mil i think No, I think 8 mil is enough, right? Enter it and I do have a hammer, but I'm too lazy to get it for this video.
of our piece has the final shape we're going to use. Gonna have to use a shorter or uh, a socket that's not that deep. All right, let's go to the car. All right. So we got the thing in place, finally, we win. Oh and yeah, a big recommendation, take the bolts off here from the seat and move it as back far forward uh, as backward as you can until it, the, the, it hits the back seat. There's this wire, you don't have to... Uh, remove or, or open any connections, electrical connections, because there's so much loose wire that you can just push the seat back and then you can work in here with both of your hands and not just one. And yeah, so that if there are 14 mil bolts, two up front, two up at the back. <sighs> You have to open this flap that's up here, and of course you have to move the seat forward to get to those, but we'll do we'll put the seat back in place now. So we can show you what flaps we're talking about. Right, and then there's a locating stud down here, you can see that, locating stud, slides here, that's if you're wondering why it doesn't go in very smooth, you have to align those first. So then mm, we'll attach this to the brake pedal, but first we slip the cable through. So we'll start by putting this on the looser setting, so this closest to the tip, and I'll have to run and get a flathead. I didn't have one here. And then use some pliers or something to help you out. I'm tightening this, so grab this and then tighten as much as you can so the cable doesn't go loose when you press the brake because that's annoying as hell to put back
And make sure it doesn't fall with the gas pedal. I don't know, that's, this, this is perhaps maybe a bit too low because when you switch from pedal to pedal, you might want a bit uh, a cable not interfering there, but. Oh, it was okay. Okay, so this side has an also an, an adjustment. Mm. So the, the cable passes through here, and then it's just tightened between a nut and that. So we'll put a nice big washer there, like that. Pressing the pedal and that moves. Not that much, but we'll have to test, test drive so we can determine if that's tightly enough. Now, the final steps is to route the cable uh, the way it doesn't loop too tightly. I think this is a bit too long of a cable, but maybe we'll shorten it. So get rid of this loop, perhaps. I'm not sure yet. But this setup for the passenger side is a bit easier. Uh, just the two plywood. Uh, pieces and this is uh, angle uh, some type of iron uh, angle iron that you can angle out uh, bolted to the seat bolts and there and then those two pieces are bolted together and that is bolted there all with I don't remember the M rating for the bolt but 17 mil nuts and bolts I'm 17 then, I guess, yeah. And then that one also is bolted to the seat rail or seat place and then just a rubber mat over it. So to keep it a bit cleaner. And yeah, this is an, a, uh, so you don't have to put holes anywhere in the car. It's just those two bolts out and you can take it out of the car. And this is what's required here in Finland, perhaps in other European countries, I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with legislation. Mm, so, but this is what's required to, so that you can teach some family member to drive. All right.